trigger happy and I give less than a fuck. Love me or hate me, I'ma show no rip shit up. It's Mr. Nothing, nice on a mic stand. Mike in the left and the zest in my right hand. I took a puff, had enough now, hold up. If that was in dope, niggas getting rolled up. Yo Good evening, YouTube. This is Acid Root. So I wanted to review a kind of obtuse and obscure mixtape by God's Paparazzi, which is called 333. Now this came out in early 2011, kind of at the crest of like EDM and kind of more electronic music when that was raving between stuff like Pitbull in some cases, 303, Breathe Carolina, Blood on the Dance Floor, Cobra Starship, LMFAO, that type stuff. Very similar to a lot of that stuff that kind of went on around that time and I really feel like I really didn't know of this group too much. I kind of got a tip off from Jackal Goldkick about one of the songs on here, but I kind of feel like a lot of this is pretty sufficient mixtape music. It's free if you can find it. That's the real enigma of the situation. It's just that it, the download link is really nowhere to be found for the most part. I mean, it seems like it's pretty difficult to kind of locate. It's pretty much in very singular places, one or two places on YouTube, but you might get the occasional person who has like a song, a spare song or two, but for the most part, it doesn't really have it. And for example, for example, there's actually another song on this mixtape that's nowhere to be found even on the YouTube channel that has this mixtape available, which has a song with Charlie XCX, who's from Iggy Azalea type music, and she has a couple songs like Boom Clap and that type of stuff. But Charlie XCX, the song, We Do This Every Day, I have not heard that song and I can't really find it anywhere. So, I, I mean, this is not an entirely complete review, but just understand that there is an additional song on this project. It's pretty beefed up. It has 20 songs, if you don't count, like Robot Sex being an instrumental, but it has two skits out of the 22 on here and then one song that's not available. So I was really able to review about 18 of them because if you count Robot Sex, the two skits, and then like uh the charlie xcx song that's minus four out of the 22 that are supposed to be on this project so haven't listened to the we do this every day with charlie xcx but most of the other stuff on this mixtape i have listened to but the thing about it is is it like i said it's difficult to obtain and there's no download link i would like i would truthfully like for someone to throw this up on dat piff and kind of get this more available because i would like to listen to a lot of these songs a lot of this is pretty great and this is too bad that god's paparazzi kind of vanished and went obscure went the way of the dodo kind of like jeffrey started in terms of music and folks like akon and them type people but there was only one single on this project and i was barely able to figure out that there even was a single this is based upon how difficult this project is but the first single is heart raper and this song has jeffrey star on there so also to talk a little bit about God's Paparazzi, he is kind of affiliated with Jeffree Star. He did produce Jeffree Star's lone 2009 debut album, uh, Beauty Killer. So he was affiliated. He produced a lot of Beauty Killer. He's, I don't know if he's worked more with Jeffree Star, but he is affiliated pretty well with Jeffree Star. So the first single off of God's Paparazzi 333 mixtape is Heart Raper. Pretty simple, kind of electronic bounce type song. I definitely could see it being a single and that type of stuff. I would have almost liked the music video if they didn't do one. This easy kind of going, this easy kind of dance and bop kind of song is simple enough to kind of have there, real catchy. And uh, I, I like Jeffrey Star's verse. He kind of had like an allude. He kind of did like a little clip of like Justin Bieber's baby in there, which worked pretty well. It was, it was cool that Jeffrey Star did that. So it's just kind of interesting kind of get that real nice and catchy song. It's, I, I, I would like, I mean, it's a real kind of nice catchy type song that this left me hungry for more stuff on this project to really be promoted. I mean, I feel like this is like real low key, especially for electronic. I don't know if this mixtape was ever up on Dat Piff, but it does have like a nice collection of some rap oriented stuff that kind of make it like, I don't know why most folks would not want to download this. It's kind of, I don't know where God's paparazzi went, but he needs to come back post haste with the type of quality hits like this song that he had. So, but yeah, to kind of talk about and sum up the rest of the project, there's a lot of this project basically reeks of 2011 and late 2010. Like I said, folks like 303 LMFAO and Cobra Starship, just all that kind of auto tuned kind of EDM type club music that you heard throughout the 
summer, the late summer of 2010 and probably throughout the entire year of 2011 with an EDM kind of crispness in there is kind of how most of this project kind of conveys itself. Pretty good. I mean, there is like an example of like, um, there is like an example of like Rob Zombie kind of club type music was satisfied. There's a couple of Rob Zombie type club type songs, kind of like Dragula and Super Beast in there with like Satisfied and a little bit of Quit Your Bitch in. Uh, blood on the Dance Floor do a real great job. It feels like a spare Blood on the Dance Floor cut with Can't Have What I Got. And Davi really nailed those verses. I was impressed by like the way he, he kind of stepped up his lyrical game in there. And uh, like Haunted had a real nice kind of broken side type screamo type feel. That was a really great one. I just appreciated the scream. I wish they would have done more songs like that. Stick It In Your A is kind of similar to like the raunchiness that Blood on the Dance Floor type have. It's just a real kind of easygoing fuck song. And this worked pretty damn well. I just would have to say, I mean, they didn't even, I mean, God's Paparazzi really didn't even try to do verses for that much. It was just a bunch of singing and just the club type electronic bounce to it. It's easy kind of going. I guess like a song just that straightforward just kind of is like, hey, you know, I don't know how you want me to seduce you in a song like this, obviously. But um, there was another potential single pretty similar to Heart Raper and Alien in My Head. I felt like Alien in My Head kind of retained like that Cobra Starship and LMFAO type feel. This kind of sing song. He wasn't really rapping as much. That worked as like kind of a 2011 type song. Worked as like a 2011 type electronic kind of knockoff. Just in a, I mean, I say knockoff, but it is a good song. I could definitely see myself listening to it if it were more available. Sugar Snakes is a real kind of EDM, kind of way turned up kind of song. Definitely appreciated the energy of that song. Like, I really like the beat on Out of Body. I really felt like the synthy kind of, this real crunchy, this kind of great kind of menacing electro pop kind of feel on Out of Body was great on there. There's a number of hits. There's also kind of like an apologetic kind of pseudo bickering in a relationship kind of breakup, but this kind of forgiveness, like I screwed up kind of thing with forgive me, pretty please. It's an interesting kind of angle to just wholesomely kind of say like, just go forth and kind of admit that you're in the wrong in the situation where most folks try to pull off like the badass, I'm wrong, but I'm right kind of vibe. But he just kind of went, I mean, maybe he did do that a little bit, but at least going forth and kind of looking for the, the ability to kind of have forgiveness and that type stuff. Kind of an interesting angle. Doesn't really try to be a club bop, just kind of electro r and I would almost say. Just kind of like a real kind of EDM in like an R&B sense where it's more sing-songy and not so much focused on like a dance club or a rave or something like that, but just kind of more electro soul, I guess you would say. Something like Janelle Monet or some chick like that would do. I Something like, I can't think of too many electro R&B, but just something like that. It's pretty relevant for 2011. I mean, I think it carries energy all these years forward because most R&B is not typically in that vein for the most part. I mean, most of the time when you get a song like that, it's more in a ballad sense in a slower, kind of more down-tempo sense. But it was cool that that was mid and up-tempo and still had the catchy kind of apologetic feel towards it. So that's just kind of the concept. Number of hits on here. I'll go ahead and list some of the songs like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention like the Millionaires did a really great job. I mean, that was like a real kind of up-tempo hit. It's surprising to kind of get the Millionaires in their prime and kind of nailing these type songs. I mean, God's Paparazzi is barely on there. It really was left to the girls on this song, but it did work pretty damn well. I feel like Beast in Love was a great one. Easy kind of Millionaires hit. A lot of these that have these type songs just feel like they're essentially like, when you look at like Jeffree Star, Millionaires, and Blood on the Dance Floor, they kind of become their songs in a lot of ways. There are some other folks on here that I don't know quite as well, and I think it'd be difficult to kind of locate just because I don't know if they have wiki pages just because of how low-key God's Paparazzi is. So, you know, no offense if I didn't mention these folks and people are like kind of shifty about it. And then like the same thing with the Charlie XCX song. I would have liked to have actually heard that one because I know she can do a hook pretty damn well. But that's just kind of the concept. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and list some of the songs out of 18 that I recommend to you. So it would be Alien in My Head, Heart Raper, the first single, Jeffree Star. Beast in Love, Quit Your Bitchin', Stick It In Your A, Love Burns, Sugar Snakes, Satisfied, Haunted, Can't Have What I Got, 
out of body and the almost song is forgive me pretty please and that's the reason why forgive me pretty please is an almost song because unless you're kind of in more of like an apologetic i screwed up bad kind of vibe there's really not an overt kind of amount of reasons to really bop this song that much and kind of jam out to it it is kind of if you're not really kind of feeling sorry for yourself or just sorry in general it's not really a song that's too ornate to really listen to that is kind of the concept but you know 11 good songs they all have like a real electronic i picked a lot of songs that have an easy kind of weekend and electric energy kind of feel if you can still find this mixtape so i definitely feel like a lot of this had pretty riveting kind of energy the whole way through i just i mean this these 11, 12 songs could have easily been a mixtape by themselves, and I probably would have given it a 10. But to talk about, like, some of the songs I didn't enjoy, like Die Young, I did like kind of the beat on there, but it was just way kind of kind of a sluggish, kind of slower song. And um, it's kind of the same thing with Veni Vidi Vici and unconditionally some of these just had a differential i mean god's paparazzi does kind of try some different angles apart from just sheer apart from just sheer kind of edm and electronic type music but some of these the energy of them just doesn't quite have quite as captivating type feel when it tries to go for something more central i mean that's one of the biggest weaknesses we're talking about with edm and electronic music is when the energy diverts from just having a good time on the weekend or going out with drinks and women and dancing and that type stuff and having this ex exuberating time it kind of loses some of its value i mean there's just not many electronic and edm artists that can pull off doing like differential kind of topics like Katy perry you know folks like that have tried and it it just kind of yields, wields uh, mixed results. And um, like, I felt like Oracle was kind of, I mean, some of this is pretty ethereal. That's kind of the concept. Like I didn't, I really hated the production on Vampire Sex. I wish that that would have been a better song because they're in a pretty suave title. I really hated the mixture of like, she died in the, des the desert on a mushroom trip. I mean, that could have, I mean, I just could tell by the song title that I wasn't going to like that song, but I really just didn't like the makeup of that song at all. Robot Sex was an eight and a half minute that I probably would have liked a lot more if the instrumental would have been more interesting. It was just kind of, it just stretched on as like a lengthy kind of EDM, kind of auto-tune instrumental, but it, I, hearing some of the songs that were good on this project, it just kind of felt awkward to kind of get that eight and a half minute that this was not really that good of a listen so this is kind of i mean those are just some of the ones so me liking basically 12 out of 19 i just would have to say i'm gonna give this project like an 8.25 i feel like an 8.25 is pretty good i i ha i would give it an 8.5 but i have to downgrade it some just because for one thing it's very hard to get a hold of there's no download link that i have been able to find so that kind of is annoying because there is some great stuff on here and some of the different kind of moments i mean i'm not going to fault this guy too much just because he did have he when he hits his stride he really hits it well and he had a lot of you know, relevant and great EDM and kind of outgoing music that's just fun overall and has a lot of pulsate, pulsating kind of great vibes about it. Some great guests with some of the folks on here. But, um, yeah, it, I mean, for free, and on top of that, because this mixtape was free, it's just, there's no reason. This is probably one of the best mixtapes I could say of, like, the last general while as to how much it kicks ass. I mean, I think it probably could have used a rapper. I would have liked, like, you know, like MGK or like b or Deuce on there or someone like that. That could have been something. I mean, Blood on the Dance Floor is like the closest you get to like a lyrical rapper on here. But apart from that, there's not too many complaints. I feel like for the most part, this project really kicks ass the whole way through. So um, the social score, I'll definitely give like an eight and a half also. I mean, it could have used another single, but there's a lot of stuff. If you can find this project that has quite... A riveting time and it's just fun overall and social and outgoing weekend numbers party numbers that type of stuff this easily kind of going it's a straight net all net type situation so yeah in terms of the future like uh, i just realized i went to like a, a youtube channel that has some god's paparazzi music and apparently he dropped more mixtapes or projects I, I can't seem to find this guy on spotify or much other places but i'm going to do some more research and eventually i'll review more of this guy's stuff if i can make it available that's 
I just don't really know a ton about this guy, and he doesn't really have a Wikipedia profile about him either. So it's just kind of, he's very low-key, so just understand that.